Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, aka the Fairy Fro Mother. Today I'll be sharing with you some changes that I'll be making in my routine. I just have to keep you guys updated. All right. So for 10 years, I have been consistently taking care of my hair. I've been learning my hair. I've been moisture training my hair and it has been a huge success. All right. So I also have noticed that my current routine has done me well and it's time to make some changes. So because my hair has learned all that I've taught it, my hair has responded positively and is still responding positively to every single thing that I do, you know, to care for it, to nurture it. So it's time to make some changes because my hair is not dry. My hair is no longer dry. I don't deal with dryness or brittleness. I don't deal with um, split ends. I hardly deal with split ends. My hair is so healthy. And even when it's time for me to re-moisturize based on um, my routine, the one that I'm just about to change, because I wash once a month and I re-moisturize once a week. So when it's time to re-moisturize once a week, I notice that my hair is still pretty much moisturized. It still feels moisturized to the torch is soft. You know, I just feel it doesn't need what I'm about to do. And basically the hair can still take another couple of days before I will have to moisturize again, even if I still do it. But based on the times that I have tried to put my hair to the test, because all of this is about trying and seeing the outcome. Learning your hair is about doing things and then watching out to see how your hair reacts, how your hair feels, how your hair responds to what you're doing. So I noticed that at the time when um, I'm about to re-moisturize my hair for the week. My hair is still moisturized and doesn't need all of that. So after the tests, I have come to realize that my hair will do well with the current changes that I'm about to So first off, wash day for me will now be every seven to eight weeks. This is because I've been moisture training my hair for a long time now and my hair has learned to retain moisture. I have been able to shift my hair porosity. It's now at medium porosity, which is great for me and my hair. I have a video on that. I spoke at length about that. So if you haven't seen that video, you may want to go see it. The essence of washing more often is to combat dryness and to maintain a healthy scalp environment for healthy hair growth with the help of my routine and the harmony naturals hair products that i use and the fact that i have been consistent i don't have to deal with dryness i don't have to deal with brittleness anymore uh, my hair is responding absolutely well the second change that I'll be making with my routine is that I'll be doing the double barrel method for scalp exfoliation, which also includes the herbal tea rinse on every wash day. All right. I'll be doing that on every single wash day. Um, I have a video on that. You may want to go see it so you can understand better. So after rinsing out my deep conditioning treatment, I'll be treating my hair to with um, apple cedar vinegar rinse and the herbal tea that I choose to use for that particular wash day. That is going to help my hair feel completely nourished, moisturized, my the scalp pH will be balanced 
and my hair would just be ready for the next seven to eight weeks. My re-moisturizing routine will now be done every 10 to 12 days. With exceptions for any time that I wear my hair out um, a lot during the week, right? I may need to re-moisturize earlier than that, but otherwise it will be every 10 to 12 days. Um, I didn't just come up with these changes. I have tried stretching my re-moisturizing times and my wash days and my hair responded amazingly. My hair did very well. So I want to manipulate my hair even less because I found from these tests that I did with this new routine that there is no need for me to continue with my old routine as I have been learning my hair's needs and I found that my hair does well even when I stretch my wash days and my re-moisturizing days. I'll also be maintaining a healthy scalp environment. Since I work out, I do yoga a lot and other forms of exercises. So this routine is definitely going to help me to maintain a healthy scalp environment while I stretch my wash days. All right, I'm still going to be doing my scalp massages. I also have a video on how helpful scalp massages are. If you haven't seen it, you may want to go see it. So this um, is definitely going to help. And I'm the inversion method kind of girl, so I don't miss it. I do that every night, so that is still in place. And that is still going to be helping me uh, maintain and grow out healthy hair. Now, as most of you already know, my go-to protective style is twists. And I style my twists however I please. Mostly with my ends tucked in. And it's one of the reasons my hair doesn't dry out easily. I take care of my ends and that's the reason my ends are healthy and I don't have to deal with split ends. Now, I mentioned uh, in one of my short videos that I am unable to wear ponytails for days at a stretch. I used to be able to do that before, but not anymore. I don't like to touch my hair every day or style my hair every day. I realize that my hair has grown thicker and um, it's even more difficult now to put it in a proper ponytail without stressing my scalp. So I think that is where, that is why I get those headaches. So if I have to style my hair in a ponytail first before doing another style, um, it will just be for a day. Just a day. Maybe I'm going somewhere, I have an occasion or something, and I have the style that I'm going for requires me to go do a ponytail first. Now, I have decided to stop wearing ponytails as often as I used to and just allow my scalp to be free most of the time. Um, the essence of the whole natural hair care is to know what your hair likes, what your, what your, what is best for your scalp, and do it. That is the only way your hair will thrive. I try to style my hair other ways, you know, other than putting it first in a ponytail, especially if it has to do with me doing one single ponytail. You know, it's a lot for me to handle. It's a lot for my scalp to handle now. This is for me. This is working for me. This routine is for me. You don't have to follow this routine. If you wash once in two weeks, keep doing that. If you wash once a month, keep doing that. If you wash once a month and you still deal with dryness and breakage, you may need to readjust your routine and start doing the full treatment every two weeks instead until your hair 
has learned to retain moisture. Then you can go back to trying once a month and see how it goes. Remember that while you're at it, you don't skip your re-moisturizing routine. That's how to be consistent. All right, that's just how to be consistent. The whole, you cannot grow your hair overnight. There is no shortcut to growing out beautiful um, uh, natural hair. So it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. It's something you have to do. You have to try and see how your hair responds. You do it this way. How does it go? And you keep going. You keep going. You stay consistent. That is when you see results. Okay, so don't be discouraged. Hang in there. You've got this. Um, I posted a shot a couple of days ago, and thank you guys for the love that you showed on that video. Your responses, your your messages, I mean, it was mind-blowing. So it's really interesting to know that a lot of Black women are ready to embrace their natural hair, ready to grow out their natural hair, are seeing their natural hair in a different, you know, light. And um, one person actually said something that that really got me. She said, natural hair is the true essence of beauty. So I borrow your words today, and I'm here to tell you that natural hair is the true essence of beauty. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, share it with your friends and families so that they too can learn how to nurture and grow out their natural hair. I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.